right guys welcome on back to TK's garage and the big announcement today we're doing our 35,000 mile review on the Black Mamba <laughs> I know, right? 35,000 miles came so quick in this truck. I purchased this truck in, on January 6th or January 5th. I think it was like two days before CES. And before that, I had purchased a 2020 Chevy Silverado, which blew up. Go back and look at those videos if you want to see that nightmare. Chevy quality. Uh, but today, we're going to talk about Chevy quality. I'm going to talk about some of the issues that I've had with this truck. We're going to talk about um, issues that it has now. And I'm going to give you my review of what I think about it after 35,000 miles. Oh, and by the way, we're giving this truck away. This one right here in this video. Go check out the giveaway video that's here on the channel. And if we hit those benchmarks, this truck, this one right here, you can win this truck for free not having to buy anything not having to do anything you can win this truck can y'all hear that noise listen to that y'all hear that listen it almost sounds like a lifter like one of the dod lifters is getting whatever right i hope not so this is the black mamba for those of y'all that have not seen her before of course you've had to see this before this truck is all over the channel this is my 2019 chevy tahoe midnight edition lifted with a custom tune she's a beast i love the truck and um i know if we give this away to somebody they're gonna love it too blacked all the way out you can see the black strip on the top illegal tint all the way around because you know whatever and uh yeah she's dirty look at the bugs look at the dirt all over the front I made it like a truck today and we're gonna do some truck things with it today you guys are like no but first I want to talk about some of my issues that I have with this truck okay buying this truck I bought it basically brand new and I want to show you some different things look at these body lines right look at this y'all see that that hood and it doesn't matter what you adjust down here it's just a bad hood look look this is where it should be right this is where it's at body line doesn't match up okay same thing back here look at this you would if, if, if somebody looked at this truck and it was used they would immediately be like oh this thing's been in an accident look at this body line look at the gap up here and as we come down look how the gap gets smaller and smaller and then it gets big again the other side is totally different same thing back here watch this we run our finger along the side here look at that it like drops off right and then we get back here and we got resistance and you can see look at that man that's just bad okay it's just bad quality they're not lining up body lines and stuff at least they did this right at least that lined up now here's another common issue with these trucks in fact i challenge you tag me on instagram at tk's garage with any 2015 to 2020 tahoe or suburban and i'm willing to bet if you go to a chevy dealership you're gonna find uh, brand new on the lot brand new on the lot i'm willing to bet you find more than three like this do you see this look at that see how it sticks out this is supposed to be just like this flush it is not supposed to be out it's supposed to be nice and flush and it's not because there's a clip in there that actually fails from the factory in transport on thousands upon thousands of these tahoes and suburbans and chevy's response is yeah you can leave it with us we're going to keep it for like a month and we'll tighten it up it's like come on man why don't y'all just fix it this is and they say like oh we have to order these extra clips we got to do all this crap we got to have your truck for a month and then they put you in a piece of shit chevy malibu give me the give me a comparable truck and y'all can take it otherwise i'm just going to take it to my own body shop and have them do it or i'm thinking let me know what you guys think in the comments of deleting 
that entire plastic bumper and putting a frame wrecker on it. And if you don't know what a frame wrecker is, let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about. Putting a big metal bumper and a friggin' winch on the front. I'm thinking about doing it. Let me know if you guys want that on the Mamba. Everything else on this truck has pretty much stood up fairly well. You guys have heard the exhaust before, but in case, you know, she's a little dirty in here on the floor. Big rubber mats. One of the things I do like uh, about this package. So, yeah, she sounds like a beast. Now, she also has some crazy power. So, let me give you guys a little bit of that right now. And then uh, we'll get right back. Mm, we call that tilling. <laughs> I love this truck. It's so much fun, man. It's just so much fun. She's got crazy power for a two-wheel drive with the tune that I'm running on it. Damn, she is running a little warm right now, though. 215 degrees. I don't normally see her run that high. But for the most part, like I said, this thing runs like a champ. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> Alright, let me stop. Because <laughs> you know the sheriff will come out here and be mad. So for me, the quality control things are huge, right? Because the, the sticker on this truck is $52,000. Now tell me about the same of what you would pay for uh, a Corvette Stingray, okay? Think about this. You just bought, you just spent 50 grand on a vehicle, what, any vehicle, I don't care what it is, and you just start seeing all of this quality control BS. Would you be happy with that brand? And not just you, you see it from multiple things. Like, I, I had the issue with the Silverado, where GM had to take that truck back. Like I didn't even, I couldn't even finish my deal on it. Thank God, I wasn't paying cash. Normally, and I, and I tell you what, when when you are buying a vehicle, especially if it's American or anything from a major dealership, finance it. Especially if you're getting a zero percent, it's free money. Finance it for a month or two, and then pay it off because you want to protect yourself. If the truck blows up or car blows up, and you're two weeks in and the contract's not finalized that's the dealership's problem you can give that shit back and that's in all 50 states and i know some of tk you don't know what you're talking about yeah actually i do actually i do and that is a fact banks are not going to finalize a loan if the asset that they're financing is fucked up <laughs> and that's just a fact so there's a little tip for you even if you're balling and you got the money like that when you buy a high-end vehicle so I, I do the same thing. And it's the same situation like what I'm dealing with with the Hellcat now. It's why you never go in and pay cash. You finance it so that if something happens, you're not stuck holding the bag. If I would have walked in and spent $92,000 on that car and it's doing what it's doing now, I just would have been stuck with a $92,000 lemon. And now I don't have to deal with that. Same thing with this truck. You know, being that it was financed, that, that any issues that I was having or whatever with it in the first 30 days, um, I could have told them to hold this L, just like I did with the Silverado. So um, that's why I do that. Am I happy with the Mamba? Of course. I've thoroughly enjoyed this truck. Are the gnats outside? No, it's inside. Get out of here. Get rocks. Bye. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed this truck. The power, the drivability, everything else about it, it has been fun to say the least it's just done everything that i wanted to do um it's been great and like i said thirty-five thousand. was it thirty-five thousand four hundred 
and 93 miles on the odometer for the most part this has really been a great truck i mean yes it has its issues yes it's had some problems uh, you know the power steering pump blew up but that's like a tsv thing they knew about it, it was under warranty um i think i got a wheel hub that's making noise now it, it's i'm still under warranty to 36,000 miles so yes it's about to go back to the dealer and i'm gonna be like something in the motor has a tick it might be the lifter fix it check the starter because they're te they're typical to blow up on these too and while you're down there uh go ahead and check all four wheel hubs and make sure that those are right too you know and and that's it and the dealership that i deal with is actually pretty solid they're not going to screw around with it so anyways there's uh there's that so i just wanted to give you guys my uh my thoughts and impressions my kind of mini review on the 2019 tahoe aka the black mamba after putting 35,000 miles on this truck like i said i've i've thoroughly enjoyed it it's um you know can i recommend chevy or gm in general right now i gotta say i can't recommend any american car american car company and it's crazy if i had to re recommend one i would say ford right but if i recommended one i think i'd say ford because just chevy gm just has too many quality control issues their cars fall apart they're using cheap materials and as much as i love this truck there's no way i could recommend one of you go out and spend fifty thousand dollars on it you'd be batshit crazy if you did that but anyways there's my thoughts and impressions on my, on my Chevy Tahoe. Oh, by the way, did I say? Did I tell you I was giving this away? <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, no shit, you're giving it away because it's garbage. But no, that's not it at all. Like for the most part, this thing gets from point A to point B. It runs good. Um, it's only had a check engine light like once when I first got it. You guys can go back and see the video on it. It was for something stupid. Um, and like I said, it's for the most part been super reliable. We've upgraded the headlights to LEDs from halogens we're going to upgrade the high beams to leds those will be here tomorrow and then uh the other thing like i said we're going to do the grill is getting painted and blacked out but i got to clean it first i got to scuff it up and i'm gonna spray it i thought about plasti dipping it but no nah, i'm gonna spray it but look at this like here's look here's, here's another prime example look at the look how this doesn't match up now look over here right see over here see how it aligns everything lines up over here now when I come over here, now look, look from look from this angle. Do you see this? This is that GM quality control BS, man. None of this stuff lines up. It just doesn't. It's not right. And it's just little stuff like this that lets me say there's no way in hell you should spend fifty thousand dollars on one of these brand new and no i don't give a rat's ass about the 2021s either that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below maybe y'all think i'm crazy but it is what it is all right guys so we got the uh we got this in the mail today i wanted to do a quick unboxing of this We'll do this as like an Instagram, Facebook video, and I'll probably throw this into one of the other videos as well. Uh, you guys have been asking me to get a jump pack forever. And um, unfortunately, in the market that I am in, they do not do jumps at all. It's kind of the reason why vehicles go so cheap. But here's the dimensions on this input. It is type C to charge, which is kind of cool, different. Start current, 300 amps. Peak current, 1,000 amps. Now, they claim that you can start a diesel with this now we'll have to see but here's all the instructions connect the blue plug seated into the host da -da -da, red clamp da -da -da, okay all right let's get this thing open and see what it's about shall we because uh you know look i will say this the yards that i deal with are actually pretty cool and the staff there is all pretty cool and maybe they'll work, maybe they work with me and they'll actually let me start using these. You know, they know I'm not an idiot and then I have common sense. And this one has one of those systems where it will not, uh, you know, connect to a vehicle and damage it unless it's got the right, uh, you know, unless it's hooked up the correct way. All right. There's that. 
So let's go ahead and open up the box. Oh, of course, it's more taped. Uh, there we go. All right, we got that open. Let's get it popped up and see. Oh, it comes with a nice little carrying case, too. It looks like. Empty box. Throw that to the side. Nice little case. Look at that. That actually looks kind of cool, man. User manual, because who reads instructions? And, um... Oh, I like that nice feel. For that Velcro feel. So you got your cables and stuff right here. Damn, it's got a nice little USB-C cable here to charge it. Cool. I'll plug it right into my damn MacBook charger for real. And then what is this? Is this... Okay, another U a USB C to C charger. Okay, I wonder if this thing charges smartphones too. Wait a minute, this might be a multi-channel thing that I got to do a video on. Let me get this thing out of its little bag. Yeah, in and out for Type C. So you could probably power your damn MacBook with this. Your MacBook Pro charge one of your phones with it. Man, it's got a flashlight on it. Look at this. Here's an out. Five volt, nine volt, twelve volt. 5 volt 2.4 amps right and then you got this one that's an out which is uh 5 volts 10 amps and then you have the jumper cable which is right here damn this is actually kind of cool man and they have common sense instructions right here right and they put them on the device because they know men we're not reading no pamphlet i don't care but this this is not bad. This is actually kind of, this is kind of a good look. I kind of like this. Huh. Link in the description down below if you guys want to check this out. Uh, maybe if I get approval. If I get approval, don't be thinking I won't because they're going to, you know, if they tell me nah, then it's nah. Then that's it. But I'll ask. Maybe they'll let me use this. And if they do, maybe some of the vehicles that you guys really want to see get started will be able to see if they start. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. Major shout out to the company. Um, I hope I say this right. Audu. <laughs> A-U-Do. Audu. Y'all let me know how you think y'all say this in the comments. If you guys are uh, live on the premiere, because I'll probably throw this in one of my videos too this week. It's as independently of uh, posting it as its own thing on Facebook and Instagram. But there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in that comment section right down there below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's kind of cool.